Hi, this is Blair Glenn. I am an ISA certified arborist and I'd like to tell you a little story about redwood trees. As we all know, the redwood tree has become a very important part of our landscape. The redwood tree is a forest tree. It grows wild in the Santa Cruz Mountains and many parts of California. In the local landscape, in our yards, this tree can grow very, very big. These particular trees here were planted in 1987, so they are only 20 years old. This house was planted on top of these redwood trees. I'm not sure how much damage the uh, root system of these trees incurred, but the, these particular trees were planted turn of the century, so they are probably over a hundred years old and, and the base of the trunks of these trees are in excess of six feet. This hundred year old monster growing in somebody's backyard would likely be over a thousand years old be in the same size if it was in the wild environment. How much longer do you think this tree can grow in this location? Put the redwood tree in the local landscape in the environment such as a lawn. Give it plenty of sunlight, plenty of good soil, irrigation, and these 20-year-old trees, which are 28 to 36 inches in diameter, will grow extremely fast, much faster than they would in the wild. It is not uncommon for a redwood tree to reach a height of 80 feet in only 20 years. Now let's go into the redwood forest where the trees grow tightly together and there's lots of competition. You have an entirely different growing environment and all the trees are struggling to find their own space and their own light. And because of this competition, an old growth forest can have redwood trees that are in excess of thousands of years old. And a redwood tree can become a magnificent specimen in the native environment. So our understanding and appreciation of redwood trees has become one of reverence and awe. We give the redwood tree special recognition and heritage status even in the local environment. We take these trees and appreciate them for the the grandeur and the age that they can become and we attach that same importance even when it's in our local environment. So these are different trees in the local environment when you bring them back down to the lowlands they grow much much faster than they would in the forest. Are they just as strong? Are they just as safe? Is the wood just as dense? And is it just as decay resistant? This is a question that's been bothering me for a long, long time. This is a photograph that I took in 1975 of an enormous redwood tree that was planted about 1960. It fell over in a lawn and what I found in the base of this root system just really surprised me. Understand that the tree looked perfectly healthy. There was no external evidence that led me to believe that that tree was not perfectly safe and perfectly sound. And this is what I found. The larva from a beetle, a wood boring beetle, that was so big and so destructive that I was, I was completely dumbfounded. Some of these larvae were up to six inches long, and I could not believe it. And there were hundreds of them. The entire root system of this tree was completely riddled with these one-inch holes that destabilized the tree, that caused it to fall down, and I would have never thought that the tree was hazardous. So this concern about landscape redwood trees has led me to 30 years of investigating and inspecting every single redwood tree that we've had to remove. I have personally milled probably 50,000 linear feet of redwood from local trees, from urban trees. And one thing that I find quite frequently 
is center heart rot that weakens the tree but but also leads me to worry about stabilization of the root system. Look closely at the center of this tree. This this was not a very old tree. It's big, but the, the growth rings on it are enormous. And the center of this tree is is showing the first signs of completely rotting out. And that's spread all the way up through the center of this young tree. And I'm going to leave you with one question here that I want you to ask yourself. Are redwood trees as urban landscape specimens as safe as we all think they may be? Or are we fooling ourselves into believing these trees to be as strong and as durable as their native counterparts in the forest? So really, let's take a long, hard look at these beautiful trees. Are they a blessing or are they a curse? Thanks for watching. My name is Blair Glenn. I am the owner of Saratoga Tree Service, and these are just a few words to think about, and have a good day.